Hey everyone, in this video we'll be rounding out financial maths with a few final details. Firstly, we'll look at annuities. Annuities are interesting because they combine both arithmetic sequences as well as geometric sequences. A very easy example is just a combination of compound interest and taking out withdrawals every month. Something like that could be, in, in theory, uh, done on the finance solver, but it's very dangerous. And so I would always recommend to be doing that straight in the calculator, uh, just manually. Annuities shouldn't be too hard for you if you've got the pretty like foundational knowledge of financial maths. And the same goes for perpetuities. Perpetuities can be pretty much like best evidenced by the example of a scholarship, okay? So take for example, an old lady who sadly passes away. She invests her life savings in a perpetuity. Now this amount of money accumulates the same amount of interest every, every period, and that amount of interest is withdrawn every period to fund a scholarship, okay? So for example, she invests an amount of money, it accumulates $10,000 of interest every year. That $10,000 is withdrawn every year and put straight into a scholarship fund. The amount of a perpetuity doesn't change other than the interest that's added, but that's taken away. So every single time we just say that the principal has not changed. Finally, we've got interest only loans. They're basically the exact same as a perpetuity, but in loan form. So I take out a loan of $100,000. It has say $1,000 of interest every year. I pay off that $1,000 and I remain with that $100,000 loan. The principal amount of the loan doesn't change, but I'm paying off the interest as I go. That's pretty much it for financial maths. In the next videos, we'll be looking at some exam tips and advice. Thanks.